Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Cruz one month update. I wanted to give a full update on everything that's been going on with him in his first month of life. I feel like these videos, number one, I like to look back on them. I was just watching Cal's and also I feel like they're helpful for other new mamas to kind of know, um, you know, what's going on, what to expect, stuff like that. So first I'm going to talk about his appearance and he's a little bit cranky right now so I probably won't see with this. Um, I won't lift him up too much, but so his hair, it's, um, if you can tell, it is brown and Cal was also born with brown hair, his older brother, and his hair is completely blonde now. So basically Cal's hair all fell out and then it grew back in kind of like a strawberry blonde and then it turned really blonde once he, like once it grew out. So Cruz's hair is kind of doing the same. It is brown, but it's starting to bald on the top, and I think eventually it's all going to fall out, and then it's going to turn grow back in blonde. Um, but I'm not for sure. He has blue eyes. I just weighed him. He weighs 9 pounds and 6 ounces. So his birth weight was 7, seven pounds and 6 ounces. So he's gained 2 pounds total. And he is one ounce heavier than Cal was at one month, which is basically the same weight. So they're pretty much really similar in a lot of ways as far as their appearance. Um, and then as far as his diaper size, we are in size one right now. I forgot how quickly you get out of newborn. Honestly, you could probably skip newborn diapers, to be honest, unless it's a preemie because really right away, especially at nighttime, the new, uh, size one works better to catch everything. So he's in size one diapers. As far as clothing, he definitely fits in his newborn stuff, but I've started to bring out the zero to three months just because I am anxious and I feel like that's when his uh, wardrobe starts to get really, really cute. So he's doing a little bit of both right now. As far as sleeping, he's sleeping really, really well. I like to nurse him like right before I fall asleep. That way I don't have to, I can like sleep the longest stretch. So I usually go to bed I go to bed early. I usually go to bed around 9 or 9.30. And so I will get in bed, nurse him around 9 or 9.30, and then I put him next to me in his bassinet and let him sleep. And he sleeps anywhere from 4 to 6 hours. So he usually wakes up around like 3 or 4 a.m. And then he wakes up again around like 6. And after the 6 a.m., it's kind of like 6, 7, and 8. So he kind of like cluster feeds every hour until we actually get up out of bed. And Cal wakes up at 8. So that's when I like to actually wake up and get out of bed. Um, so it's been pretty good. Sometimes he has trouble falling back asleep after he's eaten. So I do, we use the Halo bassinet, which I just love it. Like I forgot how much I love that thing. If you don't have it and you're kind of like on the fence, definitely get it because it is amazing. I had it with Cal and I just, it's so nice. I can't imagine having something where you had to actually like get up out of bed to get the baby. Like I just lean over and scoop him out of there. And I am also using the Docatot inside of the bassinet and it just seems to make him a little bit more cozy. Like we've done it without it and he seems to sleep better when it's in the bassinet. One thing, however, I was just talking about this on my Instagram and if you have the Docatot or you're getting the Docatot, just know it is a pain in the butt to unzip the whole thing and wash it all the time because it comes apart in two separate pieces and it's really hard to zip. We've already had the zipper like break and jam and it's only been a month. So it's really annoying. And then as far as eating, we are fully breastfeeding. He's had a bottle two times now from David and it's gone okay. He's definitely likes the boob way more but we're gonna keep trying i probably won't try much with him but anytime that i decide to like go run an errand or something david can feed him with a bottle and i want him to get used to it because we do plan on taking a trip here pretty soon and he's gonna have to have bottles um the whole weekend so hopefully he adjusts pretty well to the bottle but um i remember with cal it was kind of the same thing he never took one from me um but he would do just fine like when my parents watched him he did just fine with the bottles so I'm not too worried about it, but I definitely want to make sure that he gets used to it and is good at drinking from the bottle. And I have plenty of breast milk that I've been pumping and storing and freezing daily. So we'll have tons of milk for him. But he is uh, nursing during the day about every two to three hours. And then like I said, at night he wakes up once or twice during the night to feed. And he's just really good at it. He's um, easily latches on. The one thing I will say is 
I do have a really fast milk flow, which is why like when I pump, I can get like 10 ounces in five minutes, which I think is quite a bit um, in a short period of time. And it's because I have a really fast milk flow. So when he's drinking, I can hear him like guzzling and chugging. And a lot of times he spits up. He spits up so much and Cal never spit up. So he spits up a lot, but I did tell the doctor about it at his two week appointment and she said, as long as it's not projectile vomit, it's okay. So if he's spitting up, it's normal. Um, she said, even when it looks like it's a lot, it's probably not that much. Um, and also with my fast letdown, he gets hiccups a lot. So I have been using the gripe water and I think that really helps because it helps with hiccups, colic, all kinds of stuff, um, gas, fussiness. So I've been using that. I have the nighttime one that I keep in the bassinet pocket. And then I also have the daytime one. So we've been using that a lot. I like it better than the gas drops. And then as far as his alertness goes, he's pretty alert during the day, obviously. He's getting more and more alert each day, um, but he is like nowhere near the same as Cal was. Like Cal, I watched his one month update. He was rolling over at two weeks old and he also was already sitting up in the little like bumbo seat and like sitting up when supporting his head. And I can tell that Crew is like nowhere near, hang on. Crew is like nowhere near that like when I put him down for tummy time he half the time he just falls asleep <laughs> he doesn't even care he just turns his head to the side and just starts sleeping um whereas Cal was like like lifting his head up and then he would like flip himself onto his back so he really doesn't care he's just not as active as Cal was and Cal was also um he was bearing weight on his legs right away too and I thought I'd never had a baby before so I thought that was normal but now I know like that's not normal he was just like really really strong and really really active so they're definitely different in that sense which might be a good thing down the road because Cal is crazy and wild so maybe he'll be a little bit of a calmer child um, one thing I've noticed that really helps when he gets fussy, he gets fussy um, a lot during the day, like when we set him in, in his little pot or something and I need to get something done, he'll just start crying unless he's being held. So one thing I've noticed that works really well, which did not work at all with Cal, is the Shusher machine. I'll link it down below. I got it on Amazon and I remember buying it for Cal and it was like the stupidest purchase ever. And now I really, really like it. It's just a machine, a little portable sound machine and it just makes the noise shh, shh, like the whole time. And it turns off on its own. So you just like turn it on and set it next to the baby and it calms them down and it works really, really good on him. I think it just depends on every baby's different. But we did use it in the hospital because they didn't have any like noise machines or anything. And so I used it a little bit in the hospital. So I wonder if it's just like he's used to it and it's a comforting noise for him. So we use that if he is really fussy. And I've also been using the pacifier for him. Um, we use the Wubbinubs and there's a couple other, do you want it right now? There's a couple other ones that I have, just like random ones. He's not super picky, but I think he does like the Wubbinubs the best. And he didn't get into the pacifier until a couple weeks ago, probably. It really does soothe him, but you kind of have to like work with it for a minute. That's why I think he likes it now. It's because I'm like kind of working with him on it. And now he's like pretty good with it and likes it. And I know a lot of people suggested maybe don't even try it with him so that I don't have issues down the road of trying to take it away. But I need it because it just really helps when he's fussy. It's like one thing that I can always count on. So some things that we've been loving as far as this first month goes, um, the Halo bassinet, like I said, I love that thing. The Docatot is nice to have inside the um, bassinet. I don't necessarily think it's a game changer and I don't think it's necessary if you are trying to decide on different things to purchase. I don't think it's the most necessary item um, because I, I know I didn't have it with my first and I didn't actually need it. And with him, yes, it's nice to have in the bassinet, but I don't think it's super necessary. Um, I think it'll be really nice though when we start traveling. Um, and visiting family all the time in St. Louis. As soon as he gets a little bit older, I plan on going like every month. So it'll be nice to have it then. And I might change my mind at that time and tell you guys you definitely need it, but we'll see. Um, we've been using the Leech Co Pod like religiously every day all around the house. And if you watch my vlogs, it's this little blue pod. 
I think it's about 50 bucks on Amazon and it is amazing. We used it for Cal. It's like the one thing that he really likes to sleep in. Like not sleep at night, but like sleep around the house in. And he doesn't really care for the swing at all. I'm not sure why, but that's okay. So we've been using the Leech Co Podster, the shushing machine I really recommend. Also um, for shoes, I know it's so hard to find baby shoes, especially at this little tiny size. Um, I've been getting these little cloud island booties from target these are the koala ones and i also got some pumpkin ones and some bunny ones and they've got little buttons shh, shh, shh. they've got little snaps on them so they stay on their feet really well and they're adorable um i've given them a bath a few times i'm not very good at doing it often but when they're little you don't have to do it very often like two or three times a week um, he does have a little bit of baby acne, but not much. I notice when I heat right when he comes off of uh, breastfeeding, sometimes they're like more red and then they go completely away like an hour later. So I don't know if maybe it's like an irritation. Um, another thing I noticed, I forget what it's called. It has a certain name, but that soft spot on top of their head, his like pulsates and I like freaked out yesterday when I noticed it, but it's totally normal. So if you see that on your newborn, it's totally normal. It's this spot right here. It's like a little triangle shape. And if it gets sunken in, it means they're dehydrated most likely. Um, and he has not napped at all really in his crib. I remember with Cal, I was already, I was like doing a schedule with him. I was like doing the eat, play, sleep. And, you know, he was sleeping or eating every three hours. He was sleeping for two hours. And I was doing like a whole schedule with him. I was putting him down, swaddled up in his crib for nap time. So I was a lot more strict with him. Um, this time, I don't really care as much. Like, I definitely got out of that routine pretty quickly with Cal. And I think with crew, I'm not even really going to start it unless we need to. Um, I'm, I'm more of a... It's funny because I really do like schedules, but with him, I just kind of like to nurse him whenever he's hungry, let him sleep kind of wherever he falls asleep. I haven't ever like really put him down for a nap in his crib. And as he gets a little bit older, I'm going to try to because we definitely do want him to sleep in here. Um, we, I plan on co-sleeping in the bassinet as long as he wants to. I think it's different for every baby. With Cal, it was four months, so we'll see how long it takes with him. I'd like to do at least six, just because his room is so much further on the other side of the house that it like makes me nervous to have him sleeping all the way in this room, but we'll see what happens. I know some parents, like their, their children are on the upstairs and they're on the main level, so it's not like it's that far, but it still makes me nervous. So many people say that he looks like me, here he is. Can you look at the camera, honey? Okay, I'll just turn you. So there's baby crew. There you are, baby. Yeah. Um, I love you. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Changes everything and every